Remember that an equation means you have an equal sign, and you're solving, meaning you're trying to find the value of the variable. In our case, I'm probably going to be using x's, like in this problem. Okay, so when you start looking at equations that have denominators, it can be really tricky, unless all of the denominators are the same. If I have all the not denominators the same, like this, there's an idea I want you guys to think about. If I were to go through and multiply all three of these terms by 2, it'd be pretty much the same thing as just crossing out those denominators, right? If I multiply everything by 2 in this original equation, then I would get this for my three terms. And now there's no fraction, so I'm a happy camper. I would subtract 3x from both sides, and I could really easily get that x is equal to negative 1. That's a really great tool I want you guys to remember when you're looking at your homework. I'm going to say it one more time. If all of your denominators are exactly the same, you can cross them out, which is essentially like dividing all of those terms by that denominator. You can cross them out and just work with the numerators. Let me show you what that would look like if I had my variable in the denominator. You can do the same idea. If I had like 3x over x, plus 5 over x is equal to 8x squared over x, a lot of students who didn't know this trick would go through and they would reduce this fraction, which is clever. They're on the right track. Other students might try to combine these fractions. Yeah, because those are, you know, combinable fractions. They have the same denominator. But you guys, this is the trick. These three terms all have exactly the same denominator, so I'm going to multiply everything by x and then just work with the tops. That can make your problems much, 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 much easier when you're approaching them. Keep that in mind when you're going through solving rational equations, especially if they all have like denominators.